pregame.tv, breaking down Major League Baseball. Steve Fezzik, Brian Leonard, we are going to be talking Rays, Red Sox. Likely one of those two teams is going to wind up winning the division. Brian's got the winner for you in that game. Before we do that, a uh, little housekeeping, a uh, sad day here in Vegas. Uh, we want to pass along our uh, thoughts and prayers to Ricky Heron and his family. Ricky passed away. He was extremely well-respected odds maker here in Las Vegas. Went way back, Barbary Coast, the old sands. And uh, just from everything that I've heard, I did not know him personally, but pretty much everybody really, really liked the guy, one of the best guys in the industry. And Brian, it's just something like that happens. And you realize, you know, just life is precious. Yeah, I, I only met Rick one time at the taping of the Lions Maker Show. And real nice guy, um, 59 years old. I guess he just died in his sleep. And we had another friend pass away a couple years ago, but, you know, his was self-inflicted. But it just puts everything in in uh, perspective here. You know, we, we talk about doing this, doing that, working, working your butt off, trying to get these lines, trying to win. Some things are more important than this, but, you know, I just wanted to shout out a little bit to, to everybody that knew him. I've, I haven't heard a, I've never heard a bad word about him. Uh, but um, it's going to happen to all of us, but it's just a sad situation. And, like, you, I think of the tragedy in Oklahoma City, and, and one of the survivors said, you know, hug your wife, hug your kids every day, let them know you love them, because you just never know in this world what can happen. So. And, and you know, Rick was, he was a small guy in decent shape. You know, I, I think he smoked. I'm, I'm not sure, but, you know, we're, we're not small guys. No. And as a, as a whole, as a group, we could do better at taking care of ourselves. And, you know, it's, it's just, like I said, it puts everything in perspective, so. Exactly. So, very good. Let's, let's move on to task at hand here. Boston, Tampa Bay. Um, got the winner for me on this game? Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately? I th well, I've got Tampa to win this division. I've got Tampa over season wins. But I like Boston here. And uh, you know, You've you been winning on your season wins. You've got a good portfolio. Yeah, I've, especially the, uh, you know, a lot, they're all underdogs. The only time I played a favor was Washington. Yeah, the Washington, the Washington, <laughs> the Washington Nats are, uh, are, tanking. are a thorn in your side. But yeah. you're sweeping the board, or you could, you know, along, with, well along with. Very well Yeah, with, it's, it's looking good right now. Yeah, I know Johnny Detroit and I had, had the one with the Yankees under. So we're um, heading to the window. I went there, and they, I asked if them to cash the ticket. They said no. They, they wouldn't cash it yet. A little, a little earlier. Right. Um, but, um, so, but, you, but you like Boston here. I like Boston in this game. Uh, Price is against DuBron here. Uh, Price came back from a DL uh, a few games back, and he really struggled earlier in the season. In fact, last time he faced Boston was his worst start of the year. That was also the last start before he went on the DL. So he could have been injured. So if you go off of those numbers, that could have been a situation where he hurt himself during the game and kept playing. You know how these guys are professionals. Off the DL, that's Don't the Brian Leonard special. Yeah, but, you know, he's he's pitched four or five games since he's come off the DL, mm -hmm. and he's pitched actually very well. But if you chart his earned runs in each game he's pitched, he's actually, every game he's gotten a little bit worse. Um, on the season, the ground he started poorly, and I guess he was injured earlier. But he's given up a 271 average. That's 30 points higher than he's given up to anybody his entire career. I mean, mm -hmm. his worst year is 241. So he's been not having a good year. Obviously, he's not getting many wins. Um, and he's going against DeBron here, and, you know, <laughs> Coming into the season, Felix Brown was one of those guys who was a French starter. He was a number five guy. He's in the rotation. He's out of the rotation. Nobody wants him. Descended to the minors. For the last two months, he's been their best pitcher. And you take a look at the guys they've had in that rotation all season long, the Buck Holtzes, the Lesters, you know, the guys with good pedigrees, and he's been their best pitcher. You just never know. You, the... you never know. Uh, he's always been one of these guys that struggle with control, but he's had good stuff. He's always had good strikeout numbers. Uh huh. Um, you, uh, we, you know, we were talking, and I did want to ask you about that. So we had the spirited uh, conversation where I'm, I'm firm, a firm believer. I oversimplify things. I talk about NFL teams can't, in bad cities to live can't win. Yeah. And and I'm like All Star break, people go and party. All, I said all the hitters go and party for five straight days, and the pitchers ice their arms, <laughs> and the pitchers blow away the hitters. You think it's more variance that we've seen in so many unders here the past four days. Yeah, I could see. Well, you made it look like the hitters are out partying and the, and the pitchers are all sitting home with their families. I mean, who, who says that's going to happen? I think they're all sitting home with their families. To be honest with you, that's the one time during the All-Star. I think they're all partying. Uh, they're partying every other day of the year. Uh -huh. they got to be with the family during the All-Star break. Fair enough. Um, so, uh, you, so you're going to go with the Red Sox? Or I'm going to go it? with the Red Sox. We want to make it official. Let's do it. 
talked a little about Price. You know, Dubrant, like I said, he's been their best pitcher for the last two months. Has not more than three earned runs in his last 12 starts. Uh, six starts, two runs or less. I mean, this guy's pitching really well. Um, last time out, he threw eight shutout innings against the same Tampa Bay team. I think he's going to have more success here. How many times do you get to play the Boston Red Sox as a home underdog? We'll take Boston here at plus. I like the play. I agree with there it. There you go. For those who didn't hear the radio today, Brian and I like We, we never, it. well, they've seen enough videos that we never agree on anything. I, sometimes I try, I agree with you, but then you, I, I like to play devil's advocate. Yeah, so. sometimes just to spite you, I'll go up. Go ahead and throw, yeah. like, like <laughs> it's not as extreme as, like, I'll be saying a team's going to win the Super Bowl, then you pick them week one, and I'm like, but I don't like them that first game. Right. But, but you, you know what I'm saying. Yep. So we're going to break, we, so we went ahead and broke down this game. Stay with us at pregame.tv. I should say Brian Leonard broke these down. He is the baseball guru. I'm merely biding time, hoping not to get my butt canned before football season. And uh, Brian's going to be breaking down a, um, the game between the Marlins and the Colorado Rockies. He's got to play on the total. Stay with us, pregame.tv.